I will tell you about all of these, but that's been only one. First, you have a well-spread value of you can see if it is welcome, and it is even now mostly used in industries. Now, the next one is a well-spread batch at the... Sorry, typical spread batch at the... And homogeneous at the... These are some reactors with respect to the construction, that is, batch at the double jacket, batch at the double jacket and internal coil, and batch after with external heat exchanger on recirculation loop and batch after with cooling by vapor phase condensation. Other is the consistent batch after on which I will explain. At 3 it is the most widely used in industry and what is usually used for treatment of wastewater. Now, how wastewater is treated? Actually, the water coming from sewage or some another septic water which is used for purification. Oxygen is bubbled through uh, the water solution to reduce its uh, to reduce its uh, fire temperature and oxygen uh, capital oxygen demand, and it is ready to, uh, to use for uh, our required phase. Uh, there are three basic ready operations: that is, suspended flow tank, suspension reactor, and suspension batch reactor. Now, the uh, first is suspended flow tank. Here, I shall uh, tell you about its construction. These four rods are of oxygen sources. And this is a separation wall. And uh, when septic water uh, comes from this uh, left, uh, and the oxygen is uh, oxygen is bubbled uh, into this into this solution, the occupied area will be removed, and all the suspended impurities will be uh, settled on its base. And the pure water will be carried out from this uh, outlet, and it's uh, ready to use. And now there is fixed film reactor, and um, here we use a fixed film. In the in this reactor, the procedure is almost the same. The uh, water will come into this, and all the bacteria and impurities will stick to this uh, fixed film reactor. And the other impurities, which are which is not stick, uh, which not stick to this, will come to the other reactor. And because it gets high density, it will settle down, and pure water will be uh, carried out from the from above of these impurities and will be uh, carried out. Other is transient batch reactor, and when we on this reactor. Um, oxygen will be uh, uh, will be released from these rods, and uh, same procedure will be aerobatic bacteria will be um, removed, and all the impurities will be uh, settled down when we switch off the uh, reactor, and pure water will be carried out from the rod. Uh, this is a, a cycle of uh, aerobatic treatment unit. Uh, and the diagram of aerobatic treatment unit. Now, uh, some there are few points uh, which help us uh, in keeps how to keep it working. We must periodically remove all the impurities which is which is uh, settled which settled down the reactor, and constant air supply should be given, and constant uh, electricity should be given to this unit, and uh, the spray heads must be maintained uh, day by day or when we need. <coughs> this is some kind of, it's the application of SPR. Uh, it is used for carbon dioxide and phosphor nitrogen removal. Another application of SBR, SBR is nitrification. Now, um, advantages of using of the batch reactor is it is used for small scale production and uh, for pharma in pharmaceutical industries, fermentation industries, and soil treatment system. And uh, advantages of the uh, batch reactor is it it uh, high conversion for even volume for one pass and plus ratio of the gas. It can produce one product at one time and the uh, other uh, product at the next time. And it is easy to clean, easy to control. This uh, disadvantage is uh, uh, high operating cost, uh, product quality is uh, variable as compared to continuous uh, reactor, large time of reaction, and more additive and cancer failure. Uh, thank you, that was all for the presentation.